Though Lady Sylvanas and her Forsaken finally took vengeance upon their hated enemy, the Lich King, their dark crusade in Northrend proved costly. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putrus at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Forsaken's devious plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putrus and his demonic ally, Veramathras, had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, the Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitor's atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of Putrus' sins. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tyrus Fall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who would pose a threat to Sylvanas's rule, be they human, undead, or otherwise. And here we are. All right, now let me say before we get started, all the add-ons I use uh, for this playthrough are going to be down in the description below. So if you have any questions about add-ons, be sure to check there first. Anyways, yeah, with all that, uh, I wanted to do something different on the channel, so I decided to do sort of a about well, let's play of sorts. Uh, we're not going to be doing, or we're not going to be uh, using any heirlooms or doing sort of LF, LFG slash LFD, whatever you want to call it, uh, and no battlegrounds, etc. Uh, I just wanted to level purely with questing because I've never really done that before. And uh, yeah, I'm just sort of basic gear that, you know, everyone can get access to. Now, granted, heirlooms are pretty easy to get access to these days, but that's not the point. I just want to have sort of baseline experience from which the game is sort of balanced and based on. All right, with all that being said, let's begin. Rhizotis. Rise, Rhizotis. Hey, that's a lot of rising. <laughs> Welcome back to the realm of the living. With the blessing and power of the Dark Lady, I have freed you from death's grip. You are no slave. You are free to uh, follow whatever path you choose from here. If you choose to serve the Dark Lady Sylvanas, I recommend you speak with Undertaker Mordo. You will find him behind me in the graveyard. All right, let's go talk to him, I guess. This guy right over here. Oh, let's change my title, too. Not the titles really mean anything, but we're going to be fabulous, damn it. <laughs> All right. Hello there. You must be Rhizotis. Indeed. Thanks for paying me and knowing my name. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you're up and walking around. You've held up nicely, especially after being dead for so long. Aw, oh, shucks, thanks. You're not really my type, though, sorry. Others weren't as lucky. If you wouldn't mind, I need you to fetch my embalming fluid. Twine up some... er... Embalming fluid and some twine to stitch up these bodies. You'll find both in the Shadow Grave, the building just behind me. Okay. Sounds good to me. Here, Darnell will join you. He knows the way. Alright. Hey, what's up, Darnell? Oh, I, I, hey. Okay, well, we can't face him right on. That's Darnell. Oh, okay, he decided to move again. Kind of a big dude. What is, we have to go back here. This way. Oh, really? Thanks, dude. <laughs> Just a straight line down here. Yeah, give me a hand. I can't find the supplies that Mordo needed. I mean, I happen to know that they're right here. But I'll let him do his thing. No. Not over here. Okay, whatever. Oh, I'm, I, I don't want to sit here while he faffs about. Oh, what the heck? I've never noticed that this thing's eye moves. That's well, kind of creepy, but whatever. Oh, we need to turn on auto loot. Hold up. Uh, auto loot, thank you. Yeah, we're starting completely fresh. We don't have any gold or bags. 
Um, obviously, we have the heirloom mount, but we're not going to use it. Uh, we are going to use mounts we wouldn't normally have, though, once we get to the point, just because all mounts are basically the same, with the exception of, like, the vendor mounts, so... Which I'll try not to use, probably. Uh, you will find the items within the shadow... Oh, yeah, I know. I just brought them back to you. Exactly what I needed. You'll be an asset to the Forsaken, right, Zotus? Aw, I always wanted to be an asset. You know, word has it that you were quite the rogue in your previous life. <clears throat> previous life. Perhaps I should assign you to more to a more exciting task. Sure, why not? The Valkyr raised hundreds of corpses every day. Agatha raised you just a few moments ago. Not all are as lucky as you, however. Some maintain their free will, but live in constant fear and confusion. They usually run off into the woods, cowering at their own reflections. Others lose their minds completely, shambling about aimlessly. They often turn, turn to violence and must be destroyed. They will attack at any time, so we must deal with it. <laughs> this is your task, Rosotis. Destroy them, our former brothers and sisters, though they might be. Okay, kill six mindless zombies, I can do that. Alright, you there! Wow, well, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, without heirlooms and the buffs to lower level monsters means you can't just... I mean, they're not gonna kill me, but you can't, you know, just dispatch them without, you know, blinking an eye. Oh, I forgot to, um, grab a quest here. Whoops. Caretaker case. King, peasant, or rogue, I don't care what you were before. I just need somebody with a working tongue. I mean, you're talking to me, so I assume you have a working tongue, and your jaw isn't, like, broken off or anything. Being raised from the dead is strenuous. Not everyone copes with it as well as you did. In particular, there are three newly raised undead who are having trouble coping right meow. I want you to find them and talk to them. It might be that they just need someone that they can relate with. You'll find them here in the graveyard. Speak to these three people? Okay. Alright, so we need to kill some zombies and talk to those three people. I think I'm going to talk to the three first, and then I'll just sort of fast forward through killing the zombies, just so you don't have to uh, watch that boring little bit of grinding. What is it? Well, what's going on, you? Who are you? What's going on, you? What's going on? Who are you? What happened to me? Don't you remember? You died, bro. I... died? Yes, you're right. I died. It was an orc. He cut off my hands. And left me to die. What are those? Looks down at his hands. These aren't my hands. These aren't my hands. I swear, man, they, they're my friend's hands. He just told me to hold on to him for a minute. Calm down, Valdred. Undertaker Mordo probably sewed some new ones on for you. And he looks back down at his hands. I suppose this is my fate, then. Huh. Part of an undead army. Somehow I never considered that I might end up fighting for the Forsaken. And he looks back up at us. What do I do now? Uh, you go... You talk to Undertaker Mordo. He'll tell you what to do. That's all I really know. Farewell. Alright. I talked to Lillian Voss, one of my favorite undead lore characters. Yes. Although I guess there wasn't a whole lot to choose from. Get away from me, you abomination. Hey, I'm not an abomination. I'm just undead. I'm just trying to do my job, man. I was just sent here to speak with you. The undead are a taint upon Azeroth. Every one of you creatures deserves to be destroyed. Uh, Lillian, you realize that you're undead yourself, right? No, you're lying. My father will protect me. Yeah, whatever you say, Cupcake. Hello. Stand back, monster. You want to fight? Because I'll fight you. <laughs> if that's what you, the path you want to go down. Uh, I'll fight any one of you creatures. Do you hear me? Okay, you know, whatever. I'm not here to fight. I've just been asked to speak with you. Oh, really? Fine. I don't want to join you and you're forsaken. Maybe I'll start my own forsaken with Blackjack and... Oh, I mean, 
maybe I'll invent Forsaken with elbows. Alright, dude. You can do whatever you want. Goodbye. I, who are you calling a monster? You're the monster. I'm just the man who died. Alright. Now, magic of editing. I'll fast forward through the rest of this. Alright, that's the last one we needed. Let's go turn these quests in. Hello there, Undertaker Mordo. What do you require? Not even the power of the Valkyr was enough to save these creatures. They were doomed from the beginning. I've obtained some equipment for you. It's not much, but it'll help. You get a dope cape. Oh, and a level up and some poisons. So, I guess I'll go over new abilities as we get them, in case there's any people who are unfamiliar with WoW. Uh, so I guess our basic ability, is, well, for our current specialization, we're not going to keep this, so don't get too used to it, uh, is Mutilate. takes 55 energy. We have a maximum of 100 energy, and it regenerates at 10 per second, baseline. Deals uh, damage, and gives us two combo points, which will be used for later abilities. Deadly Poison. Uh, each bas basically applies weapon uh, poison to our weapons, and each basic attack has a 30% chance to poison the enemy, uh, dealing nature damage over time. And uh, if that effect would basically get applied again, it would just deal instant nature damage instead of just like reapplying the damage over time effect. And you, uh... All right, you've done well, Rogue. As you can see, not all of us have resigned to our fates. I'm glad to see that you're at least willing to work. Ah, yes. Even death can't stop the 9-to-5 grind. <laughs> Valdred will be a valuable asset to the Forsaken. Oh, what, they're an asset too? Oh, I thought I was the asset. As for the other two, there's not much we can do. We cannot force them to join us. I'll take my reward and be on my way. Darnell tells me that you, all, you two have already met. That's good, because I'm sending you both into death now. Your work is done here. Speak with Death Guard Saltain uh, in Death Knelt to the north. He will tell you what you must know. Alright. No we got our uh, big old shielded bodyguard back. I like quests like this that give you sort of a an NPC to help you fight. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but it just is a nice sort of flavor. Adds a nice flavor, I guess. Not is a nice flavor. Derp. They're just up ahead. Death card Sultane. Ah, here he is. Yeah, I can tell. What is it? Those Valkyr have been really busy resurrecting you newbies recently. I have already seen a couple dozen new bodies run down the hill since this morning. Oh, we're not we're not special. You, however, are the most promising rogue I've seen today. He probably just says that to all the rogues he sees. Our time will Whatever, just give me experience. <laughs> We've been shipping in dead bodies from Silver Pine, Hillsbred, hell, anywhere we can get them from, really. We can't, however, afford to ignore the bodies which are sitting right on our front doorstep. The last vestiges of the Scarlet Crusade roam here in Tears Fall Glades. While well, we've managed to push them from death now, several of their bodies litter the buildings to the north and the east. Go find them, and bring that Darnell fellow with you. He looks strong enough to carry a few corpses. Sure, why not? No one. I'll grab the quest that's in this building as well. From Shadow Priest Service. I am forsaken. If you're going to be an asset to the Forsaken, you need to learn how to fight. And there's no better target than the scourge minions that continue to pester us. The wretched ghouls and the radical aged skeletons that roam to the north and to the east are former troopers of the fallen scourge. They should prove to be an even match for a fledgling rogue like you. Do not tarry. When you are done, speak to me again. Alright. Will do, boss man. Oh, we need to equip our cape, too. This ugly yellow-greenish thing with no stats. 
besides a little bit of armor. <laughs> All right. Anyways, moving on. Oh wow, well, that's, that's new. Those little yellow chevrons. I don't recall those being there before. Maybe it's an add-on I have, or maybe it's something that they've added for this quest. I haven't rolled a new Forsaken in a very long time, so. So basically we have to kill eight of the enemies around here and gather up six bodies. Yeah, like I can tell already that with the, the poison we are killing things a little bit quicker now. I know you're passive and I can just walk by you, but... Or I guess not passive, but neutral, because he does retaliate if you attack him. Come on, just die, please, or die again, I guess. Because <laughs> he's already a skeleton. Alright. Three out of six corpses. Alright, let's gather up the last of the corpses and then I will fast forward. Once again, through the grinding. I'm probably going to do that for a lot of quests, at least early on. Uh, just to sort of save time, because I don't know how entertaining just... Especially with, you know, this few abilities and you know, watching combat is, so... Let's just gather these guys up. There you go. And here's the last one. And there we go. Excellent. Alright, so now we have all that completed. Let's go turn these quests in. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's talk to Saltane first. I don't know if that's Saltane or Saltane or what. Let's just stick with Saltane. <laughs> like Saltine. Great work. I knew you weren't useless. Aw, thank you. What's the nicest thing anybody's said about me? Here, take one of these. We Death Guards have piles of these things just sitting around. Another cape? Alright, whatever. These same stats. Ooh, this one looks... Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just took off and just threw all those bodies. Yeah, this cape actually goes better with our starting gear because it's gray and has the sort of brown trim on it. So I'll use it for now. And then Shadow Priest Sarvis. You're growing in strength. I've seen your type before. You will be moving out of death now and on to greater things before long. Just make sure you don't lose sight of where you started. You have much to accomplish, rogue. Hey, we get a chest piece. Dope. And a level. Why don't you go speak with my novice, Elrith? She serves me and will have some tasks to which you can apply your new abilities. Sure. So now we get in Venom, which is pretty sweet because it's finally an ability we can spend our combo points on. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it just does some damage and increases our uh, poison application percentage. That's pretty dope. May the Dark Lady watch over you. Sure. As long as you give me experience, she can do whatever she wants. Earlier on, I saw a young forsaken woman running towards the old inn. She was screaming for her life, pleading to be taken back home. Not all of us are as resolute as others, Rizotis. Even so, we must accept our fate as undead if we are to rise up against those that would put us down. Take my hand, Mir, and show it to the young woman. She needs to see what she really is, and join our cause. Besides... We can use all the bodies we can get. Well, I guess when you put it that way, why not? Alright, let's throw this on real quick. A dope new shirt. Doesn't have any stats, but it looks better at least. Alright, and I think she's just in this inn over here. Uh... 
she upstairs? Oh, yep, here she is. Okay. I think sometimes she's downstairs and sometimes sometimes she's up here. So she was upstairs this time. Get away from me, you monster. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. You're not hideous, Lillian. You're one of us. Here, look in this mirror. See for yourself. Beware. Our Just enemies are <laughs> bonk her on the head with it like a frying pan. <laughs> you don't understand. I can't be undead. Not me. Not now. She just takes off running. All right. Whatever works for her, I guess. Okay, well, let's go turn in this quest. Uh, there she is. Where did Lillian go? Eh, whatever, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I know we'll run into her later. <laughs> you say she ran away? What a shame. Very well. As long as she's maintained her free will, there's still hope. I can keep you busy here in town all week, but you seem to be the or the fighting type. Oh, she looks over us and nods. Yes, you'll do just fine. I'd like you to go talk to Ex Executor Aaron. Or ex execute? No, it's Executor. Okay. Follow the path north out of Death Knell. You'll find him not far past the barricades. Goodbye. Sure, I accept. Um, but on that note. I think I'm going to call that a video for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to be producing these hopefully every day. Um, we'll see, you know, what life lets me do, but that's, that's my goal would be to produce these every day. Uh, yeah. With all that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>